Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, it's Son of Beast here and this is another Eastern Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals. This is where we are bringing in for the next game in games three and four at Toronto. Carolina Hurricanes have already made their dominant performances on the start a 2-0 game. But the Canadian team has to find a way if they can get right on the board and keep the games alive. It's what they all really have to be turning out for, but there may be a chance effort to play and keep it going. Now the next commentator I have is James Cebulski, and he's along with Cheryl and Carlin Bay on the center ice. I'll be back with the post-game show after this game has been concluded. 2 0 to the series for Carolina. You're looking for a way to get to the NHL Stanley Cup Finals on its way down in Season 3 finale right along the way. And we'll see what happens if they get another one. And then tomorrow night game will be Vancouver at Dallas to play against the Stars. Keep your eyes peeled on the other side of it soon. In the meantime, stop waffling around. Let's get cracking. See you all later, everybody, for the post game show. Guys, all yours.
going to start with the puck at their own end. Orlov stick handling in his own zone. by number 11, Max Domi. And by number 67, Taron Lugren. Time to go, 6-13 remaining in the first period. That's Tyler Bertuzzi School, assisted by Max Domi and Tyron Troy Lugren. 6-13 in the first of the playoffs. Looking to break out. Through center. Swap up. 
The Hurricanes gain control of it. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Picked up along the boards by Pesci. The Leafs gain control of the puck. And they'll dump it in. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Takes it to the net. Just misses. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Here's a chance. Denied by the goaltender. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Toronto's going to play it from the corner.
Carrados won the try by Goldberg. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Carolina penalty, two minutes for tripping. It's now time for the Maple Leafs on the power play. Two minutes early for Carolina, number 47, and Joe Spencer Hawk for tripping. Top of the field, 648 remaining in the first period. At the two minute penalty kill for the Carolina number 37. Time and ability 638 remaining in the first. The against the wall. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. The Leafs will play it from the corner. Takes the feed. Assisted by Timothy Lilgren, 15-33 in the first of the playoffs. Denies the shooter on that play. 
First goal of the playoffs on a power play score by number 37, Andre Stepchikov. Assisted by Dozen, 17:41 for the Kings power play in the first of the playoffs. Assist by number 65, Timothy Logan, and by number 11, Max Domi. Time at a goal, 17.50 remaining in the first. That's William Nylander's goal, assisted by Logan and Domi, 17.50. A second goal in the playoffs of the game in the first. Last minute in the first period. The 
Leafs are up 3-1. Carolina's won the face-off. position because he tracks and reads the play so well and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Slides the puck over. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Slavin's fantastic at defending in one-on-one -on -one situations. His shutdown zone ability, guys, it allows him to stop the opponent from getting a good scoring chance when they're coming in against him. Take it along the wall by Riley. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Takes a shot.
Maple Leafs go! His first goal of the playoff score by number 16, Mitchell Marner! His first assist by number 25, Matthew Nice! And by number 37, Morgan Riley. Time to go, 452 remaining in the second period. That's Mitchell Warner, goal assisted by Naiz and Morgan Riley. 452 in the second of the playoffs. Maple Leafs go! His second goal of the playoffs. Score by number 59, Tyler Bertuzzi. Assisted by number 37, Morgan Riley. And by number 30, and by number 11, Max Domi. Time to go. 5 2 remaining in the second period. There's an oops. That's what happened already. You don't get enough, you don't play it well, you're out. Come on, that magic touch tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes when you get up in the game, James, it's easy to get complacent and just hold the bus stop attacking, but not tonight, they're not the entire game. That's Tyler Bedrizzi's goal, assisted by Morgan Riley and Matt Stomey. 502 in a second of the playoffs. By number 65, Timothy Lugren. And by number 59, Tyler Bertuzzi. Time to go seven minutes in the second period. That's Max Domi's goal, assisted by Timothy Lugren and Tyler Bertuzzi. Seven minutes in a second of the playoffs. First goal in the playoff score by number 20, Sebastian Alba. He's first assisted by number 86, Tebow Turbine. And by number 37, Andre Svechikov. Time to go 19 remaining in the second period. 
of Sebastian Ango with the goal assisted by Timo Zeradarini and Andre Svechikov, 9-18 in the second of the playoffs.
Maple Leafs go! His first goal on that playoff score by number 74, Bobby McMahon! Assisted here by number, number 20, 94, Cameron Yonkruk! And by number 23, Isaiah Labushkin. Time to go, 12.38 remaining in the first, sec first second period. That's Bobby McMahon's goal, assisted by Yarn Group and Labushkin. 12.38 in the second of the playoffs. by number 74, Bobby McMahon. And by number 88, and by number 59, Isaiah Leibushkin. Time of the goal, 17, 17 remaining in the second period. That's Max Stoney's his second goal of the playoffs, assisted by McMahon and Leibushkin. 13, 17 in the second of the playoffs. First goal of the playoff score by number 86, Tino Terrain. He's first assisted by number 5, Justin Chatfield. And by number 27, Dylan Wolf. Time of the goal, 13 32 remaining in the second period. That's Tino Terrain and goal assisted by Justin Chatfield and Dylan Orlov. 13 32 in the second period of the playoffs.
The Hurricanes now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them because if they get that pushback and they get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. A lot of work to do to make that happen. Carolina Gold, his first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 23, Stefan Dozen. His first assist by number 71, Chesper Fox. And by number 63, Brady Sketchy. Time to goal 17.58 remaining in the second period. That's a goal by A by 7, Stefan Dozen, assisted by Jesper Fox and Brady Sketchy. 17.58 in the second period of the playoffs. The Hurricanes gain possession in their own end. And near the final minute of the second. Last minute in the second period. Still has possession. Goaltender gave him nothing as it goes off the side of the net. Not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating 
running all over the ice and it's real fun to watch. Assisted by number 92, Young Young And by number 35, Elia Sansona. Time of the goal, 17.23 remaining in the third. Two minutes and 33 seconds. That's a goal made by Matt Stomi of a Patrick goal. Assisted by Young Young and Samsonov. 17-42, 3-42, remaining in the third of the playoffs. Skulls wanted in their own end. Over the line they come. Carolina goal, his first goal of the playoffs, scored by number 88, Martin Matrix. His first assisted by number, number 32, Michael Bunny. And by number 8, Brad Burns. Time of the goal, 32-2, remaining in the third period. 2-3-6 remaining in the third period. That's a goal made by Martin Natchez, assisted by Michael Blenning and Brett Burroughs. 2-3-6 remaining in the third of the playoffs. The Hurricanes don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, a really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that uh, one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Carolina goal. He is first goal of the playoffs. Scored by number 11, Jordan Stark. His first assist by number 42, Jordan Martineau. And by number 56, Braden Skagey. Time to goal. 358 remaining in the third. That's Jordan Stahl with the goal assisted by Martin Nook and Skagey. 358 remaining in the third period of the playoffs. Carolina Gold is first goal of the playoff score by number 56. Brady Skidgey. He is first assisted by number 39, Spencer Martin. Time of the goal, 420 remaining in the third period. That's the goal made by Brady Skidgey, assisted by Spencer Martin. 420 remaining in the third of the playoffs.
The Hurricanes pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Carolina's coming along the wall. Several points, and he elects not to shoot and hang on to the puck. Pulls it quickly over to stretch the puck. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. A really quick and here in the offensive end, all sorts of pressure. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Takes the pass. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Toronto's won the draw, they'll go to the Got one back, but 
sir, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most permanent spot on the outside. Carolina Gold is first goal of the playoff score by number 48, Jordan Martineau. He's first assisted by number 24, Dylan Orlock. And by number 5, Justin Chatfield. Time to goal, 9.55 remaining in the third. That's Jordan Martineau with the goal assisted by Dylan Orlock and Justin Chatfield. 9.55 in the third of the playoffs. Two-minute penalty for Toronto on a trip in. Number 75, top of the penalty, 819 remaining in the third period of the game for the Kings. Power play.
Time is now to snatch it. They gotta build on that score. They are in one now. Carolina's finally shown some pushback in the third. They've got a goal here. It's amazing, James, how a game can change within the game, and that happened right there on that last sequence. Getting to the middle of the ice, Carolina goal will be a second goal of the playoffs. Score by number 86, Tito Teravainen. Be assisted here by number 88, Martin Natchez. And by number 24, Stefan Erza. Time of the goal, 13.46 remaining in the third. That's Tito Teravainen with the goal, assisted by Martin Natchez and Stefan Nozen. 13.46 in the third of the playoffs. Jack Drury. His first assisted by number 17. Come 
The first assistant here by number 17, Jacob Slavin. And by number 8, Brett Burns. Time of the goal for 17.30 to go in the third period. That was Jack Drury with the goal, assisted by Jacob Slavin and Brett Burns, 7.13.30 in the third of the playoffs. Maple Leafs go! His first goal! And the playoffs score by number 23, Matthew Nice. His first assist by number 16, Mitchell Marner. And by number 27, Sam Bennett. Time of the goal, 17.42 remaining in the third. That's Matthew Nice with the, with the goal assisted by Marner and Bennett. 17.42 in the third of the playoffs. Last minute in the third period. Scored by number 88, or unassisted, Martin Natchez. Dominic goal, 1956 remaining in the third of the game. That's Martin Natchez with a goal, unassisted, 1956 in the third of the playoffs. All right, when we get to overtime, let's have a look at how he did in the each period statistics of each game. And now it's that time for the overtime. This is like a battle in these scores. Hurricanes and Toronto Maple Leafs are scoring everywhere back to back in a row. They're trying to fight back here to get the three in a row, or the Leafs are trying to fight them back. They really are wanting to win this, but this one turns to be a little bit of a disappointment to go with that because of Slavin just noticed that Martin Natchez has made this one a, a terrific goal opportunity range. It didn't really yet happen, but that must have been like a tough way to get this one toppled in. And now for this moment, this game of the overtime is brought to you by your Adidas. As right at this moment, it's overtime is about to be getting things crazier right in between the American and the Canadian team. Their next one can be it. I'm going to say that it looks like that Carolina might be taking over with the 3-0 series of this game, but let's find out what their take is. 
All right, folks, I know you're ready for overtime. It's that time of a moment in game three in the Eastern Conference. James, over to you. Overtime starts now. Play for a power play in overtime. The 
Tomorrow the bell will be two minutes for cross checking, number 11. Time of the bell will be 16 and 11 remaining in the overtime period. That's two minute pair of penalty for Toronto for the cross checking, number 11. Time of the bell will be 16 and 11 in the OT of the Kings Power Play. Carolina penalty, two minutes for slashing. Nelson Stickwork will land him two minutes for slashing. Now play some four on four. The four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the fuck and try and create Carolina penalty, two minutes for slashing. Now we get number 23. Time of penalty, 15 to 57, remaining in OT. That's two minute penalty for the Carolina Hurricanes, number 23. Time of penalty, 15 to 57, remaining in the OT. Carolina penalty, two minutes for tripping. For Carolina, number 37, Andre Feshagov for the tripping. Time of penalty 15, 37 remaining in OT. That's a two-minute penalty for tri tripping on Carolina, number 37. Time of penalty 15, 37 remaining in OT for the Leafs power play. Here's a 
Leafs take it along the wall. Throws it in. The Hurricanes have it behind the net. Pesci's taking it from his own end. Pass back to the point. Carolina goal is second goal of the playoffs, scored by number 58, Coach Michael Bunning. His first assist is here at the back here by number 41. Here by number 58. It's their assist again, and a time of the goal, 544 remaining in overtime. Back to goal made by Michael Bunning in overtime. Time of the goal is 544 in overtime of the period. Final score. Carolina Hurricanes 12. And Tamara Maple Leafs 11. Wow, what an excellent game this is. The longest of the night in Eastern Conference Finals. Now they dug it. Here's how you do with the 12 statistics here in between as you get Timothy Logan for three stars, Tyler Petruzzi at two goals, and the first star goes to Max Domi. All three Toronto Maple Leafs have already been scoring it so many times here before Carolina's turn to get back into that game. There was no joke, not an obvious way to get right into it, but that was like, wow. I mean, I don't know what you're telling it, but this is what they all can't do. They can't play it like this. I mean, they gotta try to figure something else out. The total statistics, 125 total shots on goal, over 94 for Toronto and Carolina. Man, they wanted to get this one back here done, but they can't let that happen. Man, it was 96 over 76 for Toronto hit. A 928 over 704 time on attack for Carolina. 92 over 88 passing percentage for Carolina. 45 wins of a faceoff over 42 for Toronto. Both teams received six minute penalty kill between Carolina and Toronto. But one power play goal happened to be with only 247 remaining in the power play minute. And with that being said, is that is it for this game of Game 3. Stick around for tomorrow night as we will have the Dallas Stars facing against the Canucks. And with that game, we'll be sending you back to NBA for Game 5 and 6 if necessary for the Heat. Well, this is going to be underway there next year, but hopefully you might see that one coming in. And Game 7, if necessary, can you improve. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you all for tuning in, and as always, peace out for a while as the NHL Eastern Conference Finals at the Stanley Cup dial. This is Senate Beast. Peace out. Good night, everybody, in Toronto. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.